Good morning, Dobro Jutro from Croatia. It's our last day in Zagreb, and then we're on to a national park, Plitvice Lakes, and, and then on to Split for a month. But yesterday we went to the Museum of Illusion here in Zagreb. It's a fun museum, it gives a lot of optical illusions. I've got one posted below that you can uh, enjoy. Uh, so there are things in life that look different than uh, what is actually going on. And that happens to us all the time. And Jesus came to this world and as he looked around, he was amazed at how people were tricked into some kind of illusion. You think the Father isn't going to provide for you? Of course, look at how I can feed thousands on a hillside. Your Father has good gifts for you. So there's an illusion there. And then as we look around, as we travel, we see the history of domination and one nation taking over another, people attacking one another, killing one another. It's in our history, we're all capable of it. And Jesus says, life is valuable. Value and honor one another. Don't kill one another. He had to ask in the Sabbath one day, is it lawful to give life or to kill on the Sabbath? You decide. He had to ask that because their hearts had become so callous toward one another. And it happens for us too. Don't underestimate the effect of taking a life, even an imaginary one, Honor one another, look to bring life, to preserve life, he says. And then the importance of forgiveness. We, we tend to think it's kind of a, a nice thing to do when you can muster up the, the ability to do so. But Jesus says, no, this is at the very center of the kingdom of God. You are all guilty of sin, Jesus said. You, you are all guilty of the things you condemn others for. And so to receive forgiveness and to give forgiveness has to be a part of our life in the kingdom. Repent, he says, and receive the kingdom of God. Don't be ashamed of me, Jesus says. Sometimes we're so fearful, I know I am at times, to speak the name of Jesus. Let's be bold today and acknowledge that we are followers of Jesus. Don't worry about what other followers of Jesus supposed followers of Jesus are doing, that you may be embarrassed by other Christians' behavior, that's going to happen because we are human. But never be ashamed of Jesus, to speak that name openly, clearly, compassionately. So today, let's give up some of the illusions that have become part of our lives and allow Jesus to open our eyes to the reality of the kingdom of God. Let's pray. Dear Father, we need our eyes open to the realities of your kingdom. Open us to your word. May we be steeped in your word, your teachings for us, and then go out and show great compassion, preserving life, forgiving, not judging one another, uh, but receiving one another with compassion and love and kindness. We're so grateful to you. Bless each one hearing this word today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day.